looks to be like uh, like share their what is the normal return uh, one expect in the day trading like just approximately and let me reconnect we're asking if somebody uh, wants to share their returns uh, for uh, a day trading uh, who are doing day trading right yeah any idea like <laughs> because yeah uh, it could be very varying <laughs> for very people yeah but uh, yes anybody would actually like it depends on trade That's... like uh, i buy uflex uh, day before yesterday and it gave me 7% return in two days it it depends upon the trade uh, i would like to add a bit about the return samit so that's a good question and just to extend what shivam was saying so it completely depends on the day i agree but still it depends on your system uh, first and foremost point of any system is how you're managing your risk so that starts by keeping a daily stop loss and also a hard stop for a month for example for me uh, when i am trading my daily hard stop would be 6% 6 to 8% so in a day if i hit a 6% loss i have to stop my trade and upside on an average i like 3 to 4% would be my sweet spot so if i gain 3 to 4% a day i would stop the trade for the day or cut my capital by 50% or 70% and it it is directly proportional to your systematic risk so for example if you are a trader who takes highly volatile trades then your risk would be higher and more than asking about the return you should also ask about the risk to return and daily stop loss also so because there are traders if you go to the literature of the books people say like okay you can't risk more than 2% of your capital that's true in a way but if you want to stick to that you might have to take more leverage which in turn increases the risk so it's a game between the leverage your broker provides and you're comfortable with and also the daily risk you keep for yourself but then uh, on an average i think i've seen like lots of intraday traders until they make at least 2 to 3% a day they can't survive because of the hit rate like lost you will have like at least one to two lost days per week so until unless you make 10 to 15% per day it's like it's very risky to be an intraday trader i mean 10 to 15% per month at least uh, so it's going to be very difficult to take intraday trader trading as a full time job or career Yeah, that's my experience. Uh, I have a I have a question. Uh, yeah. Hi, hi. This is Fia. Uh, you uh, uh, I missed who was uh, speaking. I missed the name. Uh, but uh, you just said that one uh, to two percent daily or ten to fifteen percent monthly. Uh, hmm. Am I audible? Yes, Kanika, you're audible. Yes, Kanika, you're audible. Yeah. So uh, you said that the hit ratio, uh, which. Uh, uh, which is like uh, whatever your profitable trades are uh, uh, to your total number of trades right so what what it is approximately uh, your overall strategy what is your hit ratio hit ratio in anywhere between 60 to 70% like it can't be more than 80 90% because for me especially i have three to four systems in space where two are momentum based trading where i have a system and the risk allocated for that and other two are mini version trades which i take at extreme volatile moments of the day and also it depends on the contract also for example if you stick to indian market contracts like sbi are very stable so you can't take volatile trades and once they once they get the momentum at right point of the day definitely the momentum will continue like for example between 9:30 yeah, uh, to 11:15 no uh, why i asked for the hit ratio is uh, like 60 to 70 percent i think that it is pretty nice 80 to 90 percent i i don't think that i have ever come across anybody who has had that kind of a yes. hit ratio 80 to 90 percent 60 to 70 i yes. think that it is pretty good for yes so uh, even with such a good hit ratio you think that uh, uh, you won't be uh, able to survive uh, i mean uh, if you are not earning 2 to 3 percent uh, daily why why so basically uh, to so, make a career uh, is, out is, of is it the or... return to risk is the return to risk like not that good risk it return. is good but then uh, it also about the opportunities that for example the system i am talking about is a momentum based system where but every day can't be a momentum day and most of the breakout days will give me more money than the days which are like bland and not moving or if they are moving in a range i 
possibly i'll close at a breakout or close at a small loss so that wouldn't be a profitable trade but if you take trade wise yeah hit rate would be 60% but if you take daily like opt up week how many days you're making money i am good if i make money 3 days so at least 3 days if i make money yeah, i am good at least 10 to 15% i can gain per month three, and and 3 yeah, days out of 5 yeah, three days out of five. And you should, the main trick here is to control your losses. So, for example, if I make 5% loss per day for two days, that's it. That week is gone. So, that is the main key. So, it's like a thing where you con you understand the momentum of the day. And once there is no momentum, there is no point in trading if I'm sticking to my system. So, yeah, that yeah, would be a loss. There are no your strategy is yeah if your strategy is a momentum strategy then uh, this is uh, like obvious if there is no momentum then uh, the strategy will not uh, trigger an in indicator or something but uh, yeah. uh, you know this, this sounds a little uh, scary because even i am trying to make a career out of it i'm not a day trader i'm a swing trader uh, but okay. this is uh, something uh, a question that uh, regularly uh, come uh, comes across my mind that uh, will i be able to uh, generate a consistent money from it uh, will i be able to create wealth out of it as far as money is concerned i okay i'm i have been earning money but uh, this is like really uh, scary and when you said that you won't be able to survive and your hit ratio is good you said your yeah, risk to return is good uh, it's a little scary really sometimes uh, that uh, so okay i am yeah, doing trading so i will I'll be I'll able to build wealth out of it so so I think I think the 60 to 70 percent hit rate that Varun mentioned, he also I think Varun, if I understood it correctly, you also mentioned that your stop loss is about five percent and your take profit is about two to three percent, right? So, no, it depends. Like my complete portfolio stop loss would be five percent. For further days, uh -huh. since I'm taking leverage at least five to six times, so I just stick to two percent of the move. That's it. But then overall, okay. for the day, if I make three to four percent, I'm happy because, like, for example, by one p.m., if I make three to four percent, I will continue to yeah. decrease my risk and I will decrease my capital as well right. because I already made money. I don't want to lose it. See, if we, the main reason for talking in this way is by understanding how I performed in past six to seven years. So, like, how I performed till one p.m. Most of the times, if I made more than five percent in a day in by one p.m., I generally tend to lose it. In the second off and then make more loss so hmm. it, it's a completely personal thing it you need to understand the patterns in your trade sheet and in your performance sheet and then keep some checks like this no so, so basically yeah, so, they're what, so, yeah. what I, so what i notice is that uh, you allow for more like a slightly higher stop loss in general than your take profit and that's why i think the 60 to 70 percent uh, allows you to uh, have like a slightly higher stop loss in a take profit right? because normally when yeah, we look at that is right, momentum yeah. That is right yeah. yeah normally when we look at momentum strategies or trend following strategies the take profit so they normally have a hit rate of 40 percent and i've seen people i've spoken to a lot of people who make who made a career with a hit rate of 35 40 percent also but they are the ones who uh, see a momentum trade or a trend or or, or a trend following strategy uh, they go till the very end so for them, their take profit would be like 10%, 20%, 30%. Uh, and the stop loss, yeah, I mean, would be much lower than yeah, that. And that's the reason why they can, yeah, that's the yeah, reason why so, they can survive with a lower hit rate. That is right. But only problem with the intraday trade is like, there are only few days where you can take most of the fit trend. Sometimes trend may start at 2 p.m. And you might have to, like basically you're forced to come out of the trade by end of the day and you might have to continue with the trade the next day. But then uh, yeah. so yeah, it depends on the trading strategy and your style also. I understand complete systematic trading strategy is very difficult because uh, it, if you automated your strategy, that is fine. Or else if you are manually placing the trades or taking some calls out of intuition also, you might have to understand, okay, what kind of trades I'm taking and what is the risk. Once it enters the profitable zone, most of the times we tend to change our stop loss also. So yeah, it basically defines your trading system. Uh, yeah, yeah, Varun, Amit here. Amit Suzuja, can you hear me? Yeah, yes, you right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, what uh, what is the motivation to exit? Like, you know, you said you generally exit at two percent or two and a half, three percent. Say. So, what makes you do that? Uh, do you see any changes? Maybe if you are following technical, say for example, uh, do you see any changes in the chart pattern, or you know, it's just whimsical? Mm -hmm. Then just because you have made two percent profit, so you want to exit? Have you just tried riding the uh, uh, the profits at any time by continuously telling stop losses at right levels? 
uh yes Amit, that's a good question and i have two steps here so in addition to the stock or in addition to the position i have taken i will also follow nifty basically like if i'm trading in indian markets i will also follow nifty i'll try to guess how uh, what is the momentum of nifty for example if nifty is quite active in the upside i might uh, hold it for a while by using trailing stop loss if not i'll come out of the trade because see uh, i tend to trade like i'll, I'll shortlist like 50 to 60 stocks every day so I'll be active in 50 to 60 stocks, if not 20 to 30 stocks at least. My scanner will run for 60 stocks and I'll place orders across 20 stocks sometimes. So my whole idea is to take money and get out. Uh, like riding the wave, if I am riding, let's say about 100 shares, I'll take profit of 60 shares at least and 60% positions I'll close and remaining 40% I'll ride it with a stop loss. But in earlier days I used to ride it, but then yeah, I'll get it off my habit. Like I, my own goal is if I make profit, I'll get out of it and just find another opportunity basically move to another sector or another kind of stock because in intraday it's all about how many profitable trades you make if you are emotionally invested or stuck to a trade you might lose other opportunities and you might lose your money here as well so if you're making money i'll probably prefer to get out right okay. on this one sail do you have want to add anything on this uh, you your hand. hi uh, hi Ajita. can you hear me Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. yeah, actually, I don't have any question, but I just wanted to add two points to it. Like, uh, wa like when generally for a day, as in I do more of a swing trading and I am kind of a part time trader. And uh, uh, what I think in the perspective that like there are a few questions, what is the return someone can expect? I think the question more important question to uh, ask should be like, what is the maximum risk one should allow while one is trading? Because more important is like you know if we manage the risk properly and limit the downside then automatically like most of the trend following strategies because i do more of a momentum strategies then automatically uh like you know the upside should be good enough if you limit the downside and uh, generally like when i trade i try to have at least uh, a risk reward ratio of one is to two and uh, also, uh, like, you know, what Vivin was mentioning that, you know, the risk reward ratio, like if you're taking, having a take profit of 2% and uh, like stop loss of 5%, that's kind of skewed in the like negative side. But if you have uh, twice the reward as compared to like, you know, the risk what you're taking. So uh, like, it's kind of good in that sense. And also position sizing. So one is like your risk reward and then position sizing. If you're trades are kind of, you know, doing good, you're making profit and like, you know, you can keep on increasing your position sizing, but then if you start making losses, then I think it's a good time to start reducing your position sizes to like, you know, by some kind of mathematical formula we can take and uh, because that kind of helps because not in all the environment, market environment, market time, all the type of strategies work. So I think these were just two points I wanted to add. Yeah.